Hola! Happy Hispanic Heritage Month! Welcome to the Latinx Make Art Youth Edition. My name is Angie Hannon, and I'm an intern at the Art Therapy Studio. In this series, together we'll explore the art and culture of Latin America, and we'll make our own art along the way. Let's get started. Today, we'll be making a painting based on this book, If Dominican Were a Color by Silly Recio and illustrated by Brianna McCarthy. I'd like to thank them and Simon and Schuster for allowing us to read this book with you today. If Dominican Were a Color, written by Silly Recio. If Dominican Were a Color, it would be the sunset in the sky, blazing red and burning bright. The shades of cinnamon and your cocoa, the drums beating so fast, they drive you loco. My grandma's mahogany skin, honey brown eyes, my grandma's yellow tint just like mine. If Dominican were a color, it would be the shades of orange and sunrise hues the Haitian black on my Dominican back. The deep green tints that carry the palm tree shades, the memories in your head that never fade. The neutral browns that color our lips, the cafe con leche that everyone sips. If Dominican were a color, it'd be merengue hips, swaying when I walk, the chatter of neighbors strutting as they talk. It'd be the way my words shape my mouth, the color they might not know in the South. It would be the hopscotch from my niñez and counting jacks from one to diez. It'd be the curls and kinks that blend my hair, the color of charcoal mixed with the sun's glare. If Dominican wear a color, it'll be the roar of the ocean in the deep of night, with the moon beaming down rays of sheer delight. It'd be the maize coming amarillo with green. It'd be the blue, black you only see in a dream. There wouldn't be a palette that could hold it all. It's the seasons put together, summer, winter, spring, and fall. This is a painting I made inspired by the story we read. It is inspired by all the colors that we saw in the book. So for today's painting, you're gonna need these different paint colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, brown, and white. You should find these colors and everything we need in the kits that you can pick up from the library. If you don't have a kit, you can always use watercolor or acrylic paint. You can use a canvas or watercolor paper. You need a cup of water, paper towels, and a couple brushes. I will be drawing with a Sharpie, but you can draw with a pencil, and you should find one in your kits as well. We're first gonna begin with the leaves on the sides. We're gonna do a curved line at the very top and another curved line to complete the leaf. Then we're gonna do a line in the middle. We're gonna do another curved line. And you're gonna do another curved line and meet it with 
the other leaf, the first leaf that we did, and a line right in the middle. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the flower down here. So we're gonna do the petals the same way we did the leaves. We're gonna do a little circle here and another petal, another petal, and one more. All right, now next we're gonna do the leaf at the bottom, same way we did the ones at the top, and a line through the middle. All right, next we're gonna do this table that the cat is sitting on. So you can use a ruler that you have at home or any paper that's straight, or you can free draw it from the leaf all the way to the end of the paper. So for our cat, you want him to be pretty big. So you wanna do a big oval from the leaf around and back down. Next, you wanna do a circle for his head. So we're gonna go from the top of this oval and we're gonna go around and back down. And of course, we gotta do our cat ears and they're gonna be like triangles at the top. So we got one and two. Tail, you're gonna go from the bottom of his body. You're gonna go up, around, and back down. We have to do his whiskers, so you're gonna do three lines on either side. All right, so after that, we are gonna do the ocean, so the horizon. So you're gonna go on one side of the cat. Again, you can use a ruler or freehand it. You're gonna do a line on one side, other and then from the tail all the way out okay so next is the Sun so for the Sun you're gonna do a half circle right on the horizon line so for the coffee mug you're gonna need to do a slanted line on one side and then another slanted line on the other side, coming from the table. Next, you're gonna do a curved line to connect the two lines, and another curved line at the top, and a straight line on the inside. That's where the coffee goes. Next, we're gonna do one two curved lines and this are just the stripes on our cup and now for the handle we're gonna do half of an oval and then another line on the inside for the very last step we're gonna do these lines and this is just to signify that this coffee is pretty hot Okay, there you go. So that is the drawing. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint. So grab whatever type of uh, brush that you have. For the small parts, use the small brush, and for the large parts, you can use the bigger brush. So you can begin wherever you'd like, or you can follow along with me. And then for the larger parts, I will use the bigger brush. Now you can pick any color that you like. If you want to change the colors, you can. Now if you have glitter at home or you have any stickers, you can add those into the painting as well. And 
I'm getting a little messy. So if you have anything at home that you want to put on your table, you can. I put down this paper. Next, I'm going to go ahead and paint my leaves. Next, I will paint the flower. For the middle of the flower, I'm gonna paint it yellow. And while I still have the yellow on my brush, I'm gonna start painting our coffee cup. And another part that I want to paint is going to be the sun since it's also yellow. All right, so feel free to take your time. You don't have to rush. You can pause the video and catch up. Next, I will do the ocean. So it's okay if you cover these lines here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the sunrise. This is a cool trick to blend. You're just gonna dip your brush into the other color, so the yellow, without washing your brush. And you're going to paint a, right in between the line here. Again, I'm gonna dip my brush in. And that should blend the colors together. So again, I'm gonna dip into the yellow and I'm gonna paint up. So let's say that you go into your painting and you mess up and paint over something that you weren't supposed to. Paint is awesome because you can always wait for it to dry and repaint it. I'm going to dip into the orange and I'm going to do small lines so it looks like the sky is changing colors. While you still have the brown, you're gonna just paint this little line inside the cup brown so it looks like coffee. All right, we have one more step and that's to put all of the highlights in white. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for making art with me today. I hope you had fun. I did. Please join me again next week for more Latinx Make Art. Adios.